such a blessing for each and every one of you to be here on a special day. And um, the ceremony that has taken place today is, is, is a great honor. We started out with maybe four people in, in, in universities back in the 70s, four people going to university. That was when enfranchisement was set in, but when that was finished, now we have thousands coming out of universities all over Canada. This paddle is and will be a constant reminder of UVic's commitment to truth and reconciliation. Dr. Kevin Hall respectfully requests permission to live and work on these lands. I just really raise my hands to you for taking part in this ceremony. So on behalf of our elder and our community, permission is respectfully granted. Ajka. It is, for me, a particular pleasure to have the privilege of administering the oath of office to Dr. Kevin Hall, who, as we've heard, is a truly exceptional leader and, I think, a perfect fit for the University of Victoria in the 21st century. In an exhibition at the Canadian Museum for Human Rights, Indigenous scholar and curator Corinne Duhamel states that reconciliation should be a journey of shared hope for hope is a forward-thinking emotion. And I personally believe that hope allows for and creates solutions. So let's open the doors to the university-wide. Let's work together in a courageous and determined way to create the kind of university we want UBIC to be in 10 years, 20 years, and 30 years from now. It's with passion, humility, and hope that I accept the deep honor and privilege of assuming the office as the eighth president of this great university. Thanks for this honor, and thanks everybody for listening today. <laughs>